You like this? Yeah, this is what the kids are calling a fade. Yeah, pretty good luck, you know. It was getting a little shaggy over here, so it was time. It was time to cut it off. Cut it out. Jack TV presents Go to Bed with Johnny. And here he is, that beautiful piece of man. That is Johnny Thomas Appleseed. Yes. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Go to Bed with Johnny. I am the host with the most, and that host is Johnny Thomas Appleseed. Don't you forget that name because it'll be huge, okay? Not to reference Mr. Trump, okay? Oof. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, we got so much news for you, so you better buckle up, grab your popcorn, get your favorite cocktail or mocktail, and get ready. Here we go. We gotta start today's show like we start pretty much every show with our favorite segment, which is Broken News. First up in Broken News, we have Wendy Williams. Oh, the TV talk show host who everybody seems to really love. Okay, she's great. She's funny. She tells it like it is. Uh, and we got some sad news. Wendy Williams has been diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia and frontotemporal dementia. Wendy Williams is publicly addressing her primary progressive aphasia and FPD diagnosis for the first time. In a statement, Williams thanked fans for their overwhelming support in the hours following the news. She said, let me say, wow, your response has been overwhelming. The messages shared with me have touched me, reminding me of the power of unity and the need for compassion. Oh, have you guys watched this doc about her yet? kind of made me real sad. I don't even think I want to talk about it, okay? I don't like what they're doing to poor Wendy. Oh, free Wendy Williams. Where is she? Where is Wendy? Also in the news, we got a little bit of ass for you, okay? I guess this could be the ass segment, huh? The SAG Awards occurred, okay? And there were tons of reunions. At the SAG Awards, we had... Uh, the Devil Wears Prada cast, Emily Blunt, Anne Hathaway, and Meryl Streep, they came back together on stage, which was iconic. Okay, we loved that. We also had the cast of Modern Family. Oh, yes. I love it when the family is modern, okay? It is a family of modern folk. Uh, we also had the cast of Breaking Bad. Bad has been broken, okay? We love a reunion, and these award shows have been giving us a lot of them. I don't know. It must be the year of the reunion, okay? We're all going on reunion tours. Everybody get the band back together. Let's go! Also at the SAG Awards, Pedro Pascal, he, he got uh, an award, and uh, Pedro went up there, and he, he uh, said he's drunk. He said, I'm a little drunk, okay? And he got emotional. Uh, but it was great. It was awesome. I love him. He's, he's, a, he's a funny dude, okay? I like it. I like it a lot. Also in the news, we have none other than Iron Man himself. Yes, Robert Downey Jr. won an award, and he made a little cheeky comment. He said, me, unlike my fellow nominees, I will never get sick of hearing my own voice. And that's just like me. I'm going to start saying that to my haters who say, Stop talking, Johnny. What's with that accent? That's just me, okay? And you're going to have to suck it up because I'm going to be here for a long time, bucko. Okay? Good luck getting rid of me now. I'm on top of the world. Well, guys, that's all I got for the saggy news. So we're going to move back into broken news. Okay. Andy Cohen is in the news with none other than housewife Brandy Glanville. Okay, uh, this is, I don't know what's happening. Brandy, I think, is in trouble for, for assault, as well as now calling out Andy Cohen for sexual assault. Let's, let's, here, okay, let me break it down. Andy Cohen has issued Brandy Glanville an apology after she accused him of sexual harassment. In a video sent by Mr. Cohen to Ms. Glanville in 2022, Mr. Cohen appearing obviously inebriated, 
boasted of his intention to sleep with another Bravo star that night while thinking of her and invited her to watch via FaceTime. <gasps> oh, Andy, buddy. Oh, from one talk show host to another. Do you really want to get out there and, and get Matt Lowered? Okay? <laughs> you gotta calm down, buddy. Don't say things like this. Even if you're drunk. No excuse. I don't care how close you are with these housewives. They're not your housewives. So this letter was sent to NBC Universal, and uh, I don't know. Andy has apologized. How do you guys feel about this situation? I mean, I like Andy Cohen, okay? I don't want to cancel Andy. I don't want to. Also in the news. Okay, Swifties, we've got your favorite ship. And that is, of course, Trailer or Tavis. Yes, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey were spotted together once again, this time in Australia. Oh, crikey. Taylor's got a big tour over here in Australia, mate. Okay. <laughs> Taylor is doing her heiress tour over there in Australia, you know. And Travis hopped on a plane at LAX with a dream and a cardigan. I don't know if he flew out of LA. He probably flew out of Kansas City. I don't, I don't really know what his flight patterns are because I'm not a crazy jet stalker like that one kid, okay? Apparently, Travis Kelsey joined Taylor Swift in Australia and he wasted no time in taking his girlfriend on a little day date, okay? The couple spent time at the Sydney Zoo in Australia, and Swift and Kelsey were also on a private tour, according to local media. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. They gotta be careful out there. They got big snakes and spiders. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be out in the wild too long there, Travis and Taylor. Watch your back. There's more snakes out there than in Taylor's cell phone records. Lots of snakes hitting up T-Swizzle now that she's a big deal and the biggest artist of all time. Yeah, Kim Kardashian. Okay. <laughs> also in the news, we have Meryl Streep again, and this time with Martin Short. Yes, now these two had rumors swirling around them that they were romantically involved, but they weren't. They denied those rumors, but... They did step out together for a dinner with friends on Wednesday uh, in Santa Monica, California. Oh, I love that. You know, Martin Short is one of my favorite comedians because he is just funny. He's a funny guy. He really is. And Meryl Streep, I mean, icon. Okay. I mean, what else can you say about Meryl Streep? Icon. Living. Well, guys, that's all of the broken and ass news. The broken ass news that I got for you, okay? So we are going to move on to our next segment, which we like to call Hyper Headlines. First up in Hyper Headlines, we have a college student who was found dead. Why does this keep happening at college? See, this is why you should not go to college. <laughs> A uh, college student was found dead Thursday on the University of Georgia campus after she went missing while on a jog. The woman has been identified as 22-year-old Lakin Hope Riley, the local coroner confirmed on Friday morning. In a statement shared Thursday by the University of Georgia, officials said that the woman was reported missing by a friend after failing to return home from a jog at the UGA intramural field that morning and now police are suspecting foul play Gosh. you can't do anything today without possibly getting murdered just so sad you can't even go for a jog and that's one of the many reasons why i don't go for jogs okay the possibility of me getting jumped also in the news, we have Gabby Petito's parents. Yes, if you don't remember, Gabby Petito was traveling with her boyfriend, Mr. Brian Laundry, who ended up murdering her and then murdering himself. Um, there has been a lot of back and forth with this between the two sets of parents, Brian's parents and Gabby's parents, okay? Because it was thought that Brian's parents knew a little bit more than they were letting off, okay? 
So apparently a settlement has been reached between the families of Gabby Petito and her fiance Brian Laundrie in the emotional distress civil lawsuit filed by her mom and dad. Gabby's parents alleged that the Laundries knew she had died when a nationwide search for her whereabouts began after she vanished during a cross-country road trip with their son in 2021. Her remains were found in Grand Tenton National Park on September 19, 2021, and her death was declared a homicide. Can't believe they set, settle in, to be honest, but... I get it, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to keep stirring this up, take the money, run, even though it'll never give them their daughter back, because of sick, sick individuals like Brian Laundry. Should have taken that laundry out long ago. Well guys, that's all of the hyper headlines I got for you today, but don't go anywhere because it's time for Running for Office with Johnny! Okay, we got one little bit of news for you in running for office. We are talking about Donald Trump. Yes, that is right. Donald Trump has defeated Nikki Haley in South Carolina during the primary, extending the sweep of early states that have gone to Trump. The outcome was a blow to Haley in her home state, uh, and she had previously vowed to stay in the race no matter the result. So... Nikki is not backing down, okay? Um, I, I don't know how Trump doesn't get this nomination, to be honest. I mean, the Republicans just love this man. Uh, and if they don't, they'll act like they do so that he supports them. And, you know, yeah, don't bite the, the hand that feeds you sort of thing. I don't know. This is just a mess. I can't believe I didn't win South Carolina. What are you guys doing over there, SC? No love for Johnny in the South Carolina, huh? Some BS, that's what that is. Well, guys, that's all the news I got for you today, but I think it's time we have a little pillow tug. Let's lay down. Let's do it. Ah. Oh, cozy. Get all cozy and comfy here, Johnny. Let me tell you what. There's a lot of Bryans that I don't like these days. Brian Laundry, Brian Koberger, my neighbor Brian. My neighbor Brian is definitely capable of murder as well. But anywho, oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't get a Saggy Award. Yeah. Must be because my skin's still pretty tight. And I haven't even had to get any sort of Botox, lipo, or nothing. I'm just youthful in the face. Yeah, those celebrities wish. Try moisturizing more. <laughs> Anywho. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave your comments down below, and, uh, you know, hit that bell for notifications for when I post. Follow me on all social media at News with Johnny at Go to Bed with Johnny. I'm out there, the handsome man telling you the news. And uh, I will see you guys next time with a whole bunch of brand new news. I love you all. Take care of one another. Hug your loved ones. Or don't if you, if you, got, uh, if you have a germaphobe. You know, hugs are gross. But still, hugs, not drugs. Always remember. And uh, yeah, I love you all. Good night, everybody. Good night. Goodbye. Yes. Got that Beyonce song stuck in my head. Sixteen carriages driving away while I watch them ride with my dreams away. The legacy. Beyonce, she came into the country scene and she was fighting for it. Her spot. Yeah, and she got it. She took that spot. You know why? Because girls, who run the world, girls. Who run the world, girls, girls, run the world, girls, who run this mother, yeah. Sixteen carriages, driving away, watch them ride, dreams away, my legacy. Okay, yeah.
called a bed with Johnny. Dak Buster. Malibu Nights. Will you talk dirty to me? Different unique takes on movies and TV shows. A word, because every episode is a drinking game built in. Always. Uh. Is this the it puts the lotion on? <laughs> also in the news, we've got it's not a juicy bear. That is someone's burger. Ah, the Red Bull enhances the drunkness. Huh?